We begin tonight with Melania Trump. For the first time, we are hearing what she thought of that moment on the bus. Her husband talking about what he can do to women because he's a star. We last saw Melania and her husband leaving St. Patrick's Cathedral here in New York City after that private meeting with Cardinal Dolan. Tonight, she is defending her husband and how she describes what she heard. ABC's Tom Yamas leads us off. Tonight, Melania Trump, silent through most of the campaign, now speaking out to CNN about her husband's comments on that bus. When you first saw it, when you first heard it, what did you think? I... I said to my husband that, you know, the language is inappropriate, it's not acceptable, and um, I was surprised because that is not the man that I know. And as you can see from the tape, uh, the cameras were not on, it was only a mic. And I wonder um, if they even knew that the mic was on, because they, they were kind of a a boy talk and uh, he was lead on like uh, egg on from uh, the host to say um, dirty and bad stuff. You, you feel the host Billy Bush was sort of egging him on? Yes, yes. Donald Trump has dismissed his conversations with Bush as quote locker room talk. When you're a star they let you do it. You can do anything. <laughs> Whatever you want. Grab him by the Is that language you had heard him use before? No, no, that's why I was surprised uh, because I said like, I don't know that person that would talk that way and uh, that he would say that kind of a stuff in private. I heard many different stuff, uh, boys talk. I, uh, the boys, that the way they talk when they grow up and they want to um, sometimes show each other, oh, this and that and talking about the girls and, but, um, uh, yeah, I, w I was surprised, of course. No word yet on Melania Trump's response to the multiple women accusing Trump of groping them. But she did echo her husband's claim the system is rigged, a message he repeated more than 20 times over the weekend. It's a rigged system. It's a rigged election. It's rigged like you've never seen before. And they take these lies and they put them on front pages. This is a rigged system, folks. This whole election is being rigged. Today, Trump tweeting, of course there is large-scale voter fraud happening on and before Election Day. For some of Trump's loyal followers, that's a call to action. If she gets into government, I'll do everything in my power to take her out of power, which if I have to be a patriot, I will. Trump's running mate, Mike Pence, trying to cool the waters when asked if he will accept the results of the election. We will absolutely accept the results of the election. So far, the Republican nominee providing no evidence of voter fraud. But Trump is still pushing it, along with the idea that the media is conspiring against him, and that includes and SNL. Alec Baldwin mocking Trump's down. roaming the debate stage. <laughs> Trump calling it all a hit job, adding, time to retire the boring and unfunny show. Alec Baldwin portrayal stinks. Media rigging election. And Tom Yamas joins us tonight from Wisconsin. And Tom, Donald Trump not backing down from his claim that this election is rigged. But tonight it would seem that some top Republicans appear concerned about the alarming nature of this language. David, in the battleground state of Ohio, the Secretary of State there, who's a Republican, says Donald Trump's talk of a rigged election is irresponsible. And he says in his state, the election will not be rigged. David? Tom Yamas leading us off tonight. Tom, thank you.